and you've got to stop using complicated sales funnels to get more customers and clients. I'm going to share with you how to simplify a gigantic funnel into one that is very small and is very, very effective. Let's get into it. Firstly, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is John Pemothy. I'm the founder of adclients.com where we help you package up your knowledge into high ticket courses and coaching. And I'm pleased you're here. In today's video, we're going to talk about funnels, dreaded funnels. You probably got lost in this world of pages and email campaigns and webinars this and VSLs that, and you're perhaps feeling completely overwhelmed by the whole thing. You've got one person over here telling you you've got to use this funnel, it's the only thing that's working now. You've got someone else over here telling you that that funnel doesn't work and you've got to use his way. And there's all this stuff going on, it becomes very, very messy. And so what I'm going to do real quick is just draw something out for illustrative purposes. Let's go ahead and pause. Now I'm going to draw it and I'm going to come back here and you're going to make it look perfect. All right. <laughs> a board full of content. So this is where you get stuck, right? This is your offer. This is what you're trying to sell. It's been long enough. It's taken you enough time, energy, effort just to get that darn thing ready to go. If you're selling an online course, a coaching program, um, any kind of training, maybe you're doing one-to-one -one, but at a high ticket level, who knows? This has taken enough of your time, energy, and attention. You've got to a point where you just want to send people here. That's all you care about. You don't care about marketing. You don't care about building a big old funnel, but suddenly now you've got lost in the world of sales funnels. You're drowning in it and it's a complete mess. You've learned about the funnel that you need. You know, you've got the different steps in your funnel. You've got to run advertisements into that funnel. You've got email follow-up campaigns happening. Then you've got to get remarketing campaigns going to some of these different pages. And then maybe you haven't produced enough revenue. So now you've got to email those people uh, you know, even more and try and get them back to buy the thing that you're selling. It's a lot of work and it becomes overwhelming. But here's the biggest issue that I find. It's not even just the fact that this is a lot. It's the fact that you could build all of this and it could come to nothing. It could come to nothing because you spent all the time building these pages, putting this email campaign together, and guess what? No sales, no one wants it, no one's buying it, and now you've got to start again. Well, now what? You've got to build a, all, this whole thing again? You don't know. Do you change little parts of this? Was it the whole thing that's broken? You get stuck. If this is how you're feeling, you shouldn't have to build all of this. There's a much easier way, and what I teach my clients is this process called the QR funnel. It stands for the quick result funnel. Let me walk you through it here real quick. So here you've got the thing that you're selling. Let's just say for argument's sake, it's an online course. Well, we don't want to build that whole big campaign yet because we don't want to launch something that we're not sure is actually going to work. You don't know if people even want to buy this thing yet. So we've got to test it. So we use a QR funnel. And the way we do that is we have literally two pages. I'm going to put C and tell you what that stands for in just a moment. And we've got S and I'll tell you what that stands for in just a moment. I'm getting a bit wonky here. And then we've got traffic generation, right? We're gonna tell people to come and check this out. Here are the two pages that you need. You need a sales page and you need a checkout page. Those are the only two pages. You might say, John, do I need emails? Nope. John, do I need an opt-in page? Nope. You start with this. You start with a sales page. You put together a really great sales video inside of my client programs. We have frameworks for this and structures for this. You put together a great sales video, a very simple page that just does the selling and telling for you and leads people to a checkout page where they can hear about the product that you've got. Or the second option is if you are wanting to sell something a bit more high ticket, then you can take them from the sales page to book a phone call with you. And on that phone call, you can sell them the thing. This is what we need to do to test the messaging. And then we go out there and we just try and find a bunch of people. We're going out there on social media. We're going out to an existing email list if you have it. You're going out there producing content. If you're picking up referrals from people, you're sending them here. You now have a place where you can send people that are interested in what you've got going on. You've achieved that, you have it now. And if you send enough people to this page and they are not buying, then there's a problem with your messaging, there's a problem with this process, and you've figured it out early so you can start to make some adjustments. You can either change the marketing message or you can change the offer itself if that's the thing that's not appealing. 
It means that you can take something to market very, very quickly and, and start to figure out the problems because look, there's going to be issues. You know, it's very difficult to launch a new offer with a new funnel and it just take off straight away, right? That's unrealistic for the new person. So it's gonna be a testing period. So wouldn't you rather just get the testing period out the way quicker and this is the way that we do it. Once you've done this, once you have started testing this and starting to drive some traffic and getting some results, if you get those results, then you can, you can promote your QR funnel, your quick result funnel to a BR funnel which stands for a big result funnel. Now let me talk you through this because I've, I've uh, run out of space, so I'm gonna, ha gonna have to put it up here. But this is where you have an opt-in page. This is where now we're gonna actually send traffic to this page, we're gonna build our email list, then they're gonna go straight to the sales page, and now that we're building that list, sorry, my board's getting a bit messy here. Now that we're building that email list, we can start sending a number of uh, emails to remind people to come check out what it was that we've got going on. We can send them back to the sales page. We can send them back to the checkout page if they almost purchased but left. We can email them about the phone call. Now we can bolt on this unbelievable asset of building a list. You know, my company makes an additional six figures every single month from just emails out to our email database. It's huge, it's so profitable, it's an amazing asset. But again, you wanna bolt this on second. This is the starting point very quick and simple to put together. Then you got the BR funnel. This is how you test your product quickly. This is how you eliminate those complicated sales funnels and that feeling of overwhelm. And then only once you've got this proven, do you then perhaps think about taking the messaging that's proven now to another type of funnel. Maybe it's a webinar, maybe it's something else, maybe it's a book funnel, maybe it's like whatever it is. Now you've got some proof of concept that you can take somewhere else. If this is interesting to you, we actually have a program called Course Launch Bootcamp, which walks you through how to do this. If you've got knowledge in your head right now that you would like to package up into a profitable online course that sells itself, or if you've already got a course, this thing's ready to go, but you just don't know how to get the right people to it, we actually focus on this and one other strategy in our program, which is called pre-selling. And we couple the QR funnel with pre-selling. And if you do it that way, you can launch a brand new course within 14 days. The course, the funnel, you can have it out the door. And we've had course launch bootcamp members making sales within weeks without previous experience at all. So if that would interest you, we'd love to have you in that program. There's details about it in the, in the description box. That'll take you to a page where you can hear about the fact we've got the enrollment period open right now and you can jump on in. So hopefully this was helpful for you. If it was, do me a favor, hit the like button on the video, drop me a comment. We love seeing all of that engagement. It encourages us to produce more content like this. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell notification. We put out a couple of new videos like this every single week and we're watching you. If you do subscribe, we see it. And if you don't, we're coming for you with just more content, I guess. And hopefully at some point, you'll subscribe. Anyway, we'll see you in the next video.